nobody seems to be around. Just drive up and honk your horn. Maybe this won't be so hard after all. Yeah, yeah, I'm opening the gate. Hold it, idiots! That don't look like one of our technicals. They're here for a hostage. Get them! You won't last two oh, oh, You ain't getting the damn that way, Pepper The blood shots ain't left here without a truck right there. Set the clock! Go see the kid out the bus. Oh, you got some steamy looking wheels. Hey, oh, 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 way out in Bannock Country. Be careful out there, Amigo. Oh, be my garden! Oh. I finally made it to the dust, huh? You've been off the Echo for hours. Thought you might have got brain or something. But you ain't so. Guy. Stuff. Stuff. I should have killed your fat ass when I had the chance! <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, howdy! I didn't see you there. Name's Ellie. My brother Scooter told me you was coming. Don't get many visitors around here, especially not one so cute. Trying to rescue your pal Roland from the dam, huh? I bet you could fool those blood shops if you drove up in one of their custom trucks. I got one right over yonder that I crushed with the driver still inside. My bad. Well, I got a vanilla technical in the shop, but most of the parts we need. Just gotta doll it up with some more of the bandit's trimmings. Spikes, blood, skulls, that kind of thing. You could probably scavenge that stuff from the bandit patrols around here. tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. I'm in the danger zone, man. My buddies kicked me out of their gyro squad, huh? and now they're celebrating with a round of psycho head volleyball. Steal their balls and burn their net. Sanctuary. 
I know you're angry. I'm not going to apologize for what I said, but it's not safe out there. Both of those dumbass families think the others. You have to blow up some bandit cars and grab the crap from the wreckage. And don't pay them any mind if they start calling you names. Just makes killing them that much more fun. Are you and my sister getting along for an hour? That's cool, that's cool. Of course, you make fun of the way she looks, so I have to tie you to a bed of shit and set you on fire. But it's not it's cool, you guys are hanging out, so it's fine. That's one part now!
You can be my wingman anytime. Got a bandit car? Roland can handle whatever the bloodshots dish out, but I generally don't like letting him get tortured any longer than I have to. Come back and see me sometime, you some bitch. And tell Scooter to stop setting my customers on fire. I can take care of myself. Now that looks like the car of a psycho murderer. I'm digging it. Get back to the bloodshot dam and try honking your way in again. Wanna help me with something? Have you seen those hood ornaments the Hodunks made to me? I think they're trying to mock me or something, but that design is bad ass. Could you scrap some of their cars and bring me a few of those ornaments? <laughs> Shows what she knows. I 
got these boys bent over backwards just to get my attention, and I didn't have to do nothing. place. Lived in Sanctuary for a while, but Moxie kept hassling me about working for her, putting on makeup, losing weight. I just got sick of her nagging and came out here to make it on my own. That, and I was worried Scooter might have a crush on me. What? Back off! <laughs> Please. <laughs>
stories about the Zaffer Hodunk War again. Scaring your little kids with stories about grandma eating boogeymen and the like. Well, let me give you the only bit of education your backbar teed suckers will ever hear. Your family started the feud. Your great grandpap Lyle Hodunk stole two Zaffer children and drowned them in a creek bed just for fun. We'll honor the truce as long as your hillbills do. The Hodunks first did the first shot in this war, and never doubt that the Zappers will fire the last. Interior design, hell of a day. 